Hi everyone. My name is Amit, and I am the academic head of uh, Career Avenues. Uh, in this video, uh, I'll share with you the analysis of the Gate Twenty Three Architecture paper, uh, which was conducted, and uh, it is currently out for all of you guys to uh, see how well you have uh, performed, and uh, you can challenge the uh, marks of uh, or the answer keys of some of the papers. So. Uh, we have sat down with my team and we have done an analysis of the gate paper. So uh, the Career News Architecture team is uh, uh, a very good team comprising about nine or ten faculty members. Uh, quite a few of them are from uh, the IITs and SPAs and uh, a lot of them with good ranks uh, of uh, uh, in, in the past gate. Uh, let me just share with you uh, the... Uh, you know, uh, screen where you can see uh, who these people are. So uh, these are some of the people that we have. Uh, there is uh, someone from SPA, somebody from IIT, somebody from uh, you know, AI ranks of two or four or uh, 19, a couple of people uh, who have studied abroad. There'll be a few more people who are there in the team. Their photographs are not here. But it gives you a perspective of uh, the kind of people who are behind career revenues architecture so that you get a sense of uh, the kind of uh, work that career revenues is currently doing uh, for its students in architecture. And these are some of the people who have contributed for the analysis that I'll be sh uh, sharing with you. So uh, let me quickly come to what the analysis have to, uh, uh, we have to say on the analysis. Uh, one of the first things that we felt, the unanimous feedback on the paper was that uh, while the paper was not very difficult, uh, it was uh, to some extent tricky. Now, uh, what we mean by tricky was that there were a few questions which uh, required you uh, to have information which is normally not uh, uh, available. It was not asked uh, in in in, uh, in in the gate in the past. Uh, the normal expectation of the gate paper is that the numerical questions have kept increasing, but this year, if you were to look at the uh, number of questions as well as the weightage of the numerical uh, section, it was uh, far less compared to the previous years. So that was one uh, change which uh, gate brought in. There were some other changes which were there. Uh, numerical questions to a large extent were straightforward. So uh, someone who realized on uh, solving numerical questions and was good at solving numerical, uh, numerical questions did not have that extra edge compared to the others because the questions were straightforward and simple or were, were those which were asked pretty often. A couple of numerical questions were on the uh, very tough side. So even if you had prepared well for the numericals, you might not have been exposed to those kind of questions. So that made it slightly tricky. So numericals at least made it as an even uh, keel for all the students. The aptitude part of the paper was very, very easy. It was expected to be easy, but uh, it was uh, so easy that I would expect almost everybody to get at least a six or a seven with a lot of people probably would get a nine or a 10. Uh, there were straightforward questions on clock, or on uh, there was a Sudoku uh, kind of a puzzle which was there. Jumbled sentences was brought in, uh, you know, uh, a data interpretation question. Hardly anything on quantitative, which was a good thing. Just a couple of questions on quantitative aspect in the aptitude. And uh, I think there was this one pyramid question which is creating a little bit of controversy in terms of what is the right answer. But that question apart, I think uh, aptitude was pretty easy to handle. So getting a seven or an eight is definitely uh, possible for the aptitude uh, section. Uh, some of the other feedback that we had was that the planning section uh, questions were marginally tougher than the architecture uh, section questions. So you had the common part, which was common to everybody, but uh, our faculty, some of them felt that the planning section was slightly tougher than the uh, architecture, the section B uh, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. That was not as tough compared to the planning section. I think what has happened is that the uh, paper setters have tried to balance both the sections because it is a lot easier to ask uh, numerical questions in the architecture section 
uh, whether it is from uh, structures, whether it is from acoustics, illumination, and a lot of other topics from uh, uh, the building services part. So they have consciously not asked too many numerical questions uh, there. So two numerical questions in the architecture, two numerical questions in the planning, and bulk of the numerical questions have come in the common section. So it's been a conscious effort by the uh, paper setters to try and balance both the things. Uh, but I do not find them as having 100% succeeded in their endeavor. The endeavor is, of course, respected. But I would not say that uh, they have done a very good job in terms of balancing the overall level of difficulty of uh, both the papers. Uh, some of the questions were, of course, an insult to the intelligence of uh, our students out there. Uh, they, were, they were very easy very straightforward. I think there was a question around uh, building services uh, security, where uh, you know, so we have to mark whether the statement is right or wrong. There was something around uh, magnetic loop detector being used for fire services or for uh, the, the infrared sensors being used for broadcasting, public broadcasting or not. So I think they were very straightforward questions. Easily the options could be eliminated. So the marks were there for the taking. I think there was another question on uh, dry waste and combustible uh, waste, etc. definitions around them. So they were on the easier side. People could have got marks easily on that. Uh, one good thing which did happen was that when we made the mocks in career revenues for gate 23, uh, we made some assumptions in terms of what is going to be the weightage of the various uh, uh, sections. And to a large extent, we have got it right, both in terms of the uh, distribution of questions uh, across the sections and the weightage and the type of questions as well, especially the numericals, we have to a large extent got it right. So I think that's been a big help. Uh, I was just going through the numericals and I could see that there was uh, something on parking, there was something on housing, uh, there was something on the, the structures, both the questions, uh, there was something on rainwater, uh, storage, etc. And quite a few of these questions were asked uh, multiple times in the eight mocks that we had conducted. So you know, someone who had done the mocks uh, uh, well and seriously reviewed all of those mocks. At least those questions, they could have easily, they must have definitely easily answered uh, those questions. Uh, so a lot of questions uh, from the career news mocks, not only in the numerical part, but even in the other part, straightforward, there were questions. Uh, I could identify at least about uh, 25 to 20, 30% of the questions were uh, the same or very similar. When I say the same, it means probably uh, a change in numbers or a change in the way the question has been asked. But about 30% of the questions being similar would typically translate into uh, easy 25 to 30 marks that the student has been able to get straight from uh, you know, learning from the mocks themselves because mocks are taken more seriously than probably the section test or the practice test. So just someone who had practiced on the mocks itself, they could have easily got around 30 odd marks uh, there. What they required was another 15 or 20 or 25 marks in other parts of the paper. So, uh, you know, the, the rest of the career news course, which was there from there, there were a lot of questions which were there. Uh, again, a lot of, uh, and I am not even talking about the aptitude part. Also. So when, when I were to include the aptitude part, I could easily add someone getting about 35 to 37 marks, very, very easily answering the career news mocks. Uh, from the architecture section plus uh, the the common and the architecture planning section plus the aptitude section so that is something that could have definitely happened uh, a lot of msqs uh, were there our sense the faculty sense is that uh, high accuracy would be the key to doing well in this paper we would expect a fair amount of uh, students would have got uh, some questions uh, the, the tricky questions wrong and therefore, if they had probably not attempted those questions, they would have uh, in, been in a better position. So uh, high accuracy was the key out here. And that's something that we have been emphasizing in uh, career revenues that you got to choose your questions carefully and only answer the questions where you know 100% for sure you know the answers. Uh, the uh, I, I'll come to the you know, uh, cutoff in a couple of minutes. I'll just quickly again share with you our broad analysis of the paper. Uh, we have started putting out some uh, explanatory answers on the on our website, so you can go and check them out. We'll uh, keep adding uh, to that. But just to quickly share with you our analysis of the paper. So 
this is what we felt was how the paper was distributed. So aptitude, uh, very little in quantitative, just two questions in quantitative, uh, worth four marks. So, uh, and there was uh, quite a few questions in English, which are most of them easy. So if you look at it, at least six of the questions in the uh, aptitude part were easy, which uh, constituted, uh, you know, uh, eight marks. So that was easy pickings for the students there. Okay. Uh, in the common section, if you were to look at it, the distribution was pretty much as was expected with higher number of questions in the services and infrastructure. Uh, planning surprisingly got a very decent number of uh, questions. Housing as expected got four. And therefore, the paper was pretty much balanced and on expected lines. Career revenues distribution was also uh, very similar. Uh, and even in terms of marks, so if you look at it, the the nine marks, uh, nine questions of services and infrastructure resulted in 17 marks uh, in the paper, which means that bulk of the questions were two mark questions. And our marks were also designed accordingly with just one or two questions that we had in services infrastructure were from one mark. And even we had largely put two markers only as services and infrastructure questions. Okay. This was also an expected line. So the uh, architecture paper where uh, history and contemporary architecture, six questions and building and construction services, uh, four. I think what has happened is uh, by uh, doing this uh, separate paper for architecture and planning and uh, putting uh, these sections where they are, uh, the surprise element which was there in uh, the gate architecture paper to some extent has disappeared what has happened is that uh, given the fact that you can only ask 16 questions from uh, these three topics uh, you can't help but have a distribution like this you cannot have more in history and uh, history of architecture or more in building services because you got to balance the others so uh, of six four, six, or uh, five, five, six, or some such distribution is what is likely to happen in the entire paper, which is what got reflected even in this paper. So I think uh, this was straightforward. When the uh, gate paper was not separate, uh, there were cases where in building construction, the, the marks were not six, but maybe eight or nine or 10. And building services sometimes were even higher than 12. So uh, higher than 10. So that surprise element is... Uh, got eliminated from uh, the architecture paper. The planning paper, this is what I was speaking to you about. The planning techniques and management had a much higher weightage and the regional and settlement planning, uh, they had a lesser uh, weightage. So that was surprising in terms of uh, the lack of balance in the paper. And the second aspect is if you were to look at it, uh, you had four tough questions worth eight marks and here you had worth 10 marks and uh, while they have tried to balance it out to some extent with asking more moderate questions but it's not as simple as that because uh, a question may be easy for somebody and moderate for somebody else but difficult questions to a large extent stay difficult for everybody because they take more time to solve so if we were to look at it Overall, if you were to look at it, uh, in terms of the 81 questions which were asked, uh, half the paper was on the easier side. Uh, a, a good number of these questions come from aptitude. Uh, again, if you were to look at it from a marks perspective also, out of 125, 55 marks, which is almost about 40% of the paper, was on the easier side. So, uh, of course, the paper was not out of 125. The paper is out of 100 because you either answer architecture or you answer planning. So my sense in terms of uh, what would be a good cutoff, uh, our, our feeling is that it is likely to be around uh, uh, 32 or uh, 33. There could be small changes if uh, some of the questions are cancelled and this marks to all. If that happens to a couple of questions, then the cutoff could go higher. Uh, cutoff is, of course, also dependent upon the number of test takers, which uh, currently, specifically for architecture, we do not have the numbers, but uh, that could increase or decrease the cutoff. But our sense is that uh, going by past trends, we would imagine the cutoff to be in the vicinity of around uh, 32 or 33. 
with a good score being in the vicinity of between uh, you know ar- around 50 uh, give or take a couple of marks uh, here and there so that is what we expect a uh, few of our students have called back and told us that they've got really good scores etc uh in the description of this particular video you will also find a percentile uh, calculator link uh, please sign on uh, and and share your uh, whatever marks you are currently getting with us and in a couple of days we will come out with uh, the uh, percentile report uh, expected ranks and expected percentile report for the students uh, so that that's that's about it from our side uh, if any of you are probably looking at taking up the gate again or if you know any of your friends who are probably uh, going to be looking at the gate uh, do mention to them that they should contact the uh, career news uh, office in mumbai and uh, this is the website uh, cavindia.com we have totally revamped the entire website uh, career revenues uh, some of the other things that we are doing is that there will be a lot of uh, interesting webinars for students not necessarily on gate but it would be on related areas of uh, architecture so uh, we have two workshops which are coming up uh, pretty soon uh, open to all of our students and all of our past students as well even those who have passed out two years three years five years ago uh, there is going to be a session which we will be doing on uh, craft as a, as a means in architecture and we have one of the top uh, craft professionals in the country who is going to be uh, present on a webinar with uh, our students Uh, we will uh, be sharing you uh, with sharing with you more details about this very soon and then there's going to be uh, another program just on uh, the impact that uh, lights and lighting have on architecture so that's again another uh, webinar which is going to come where we have lighting expert tushar uh, who is going to be sharing uh, his experience of working with very large projects uh, uh, five star hotels and a lot of other places as well and uh, how they all look at lighting so i think these are must must participate sessions for uh, uh, architects and budding architects so make sure you join all of those uh, sessions there'll be many more such sessions that we are planning and uh, would want to make it as interesting for people so that they can keep uh, developing their knowledge of architecture uh, you will hear a lot more from uh, the career revenue team on the various social media platform so make sure that you subscribe to our uh, youtube channel you subscribe to our uh, instagram and uh, any feedback that you have uh, any suggestions that you have in any way you want to interact with us or uh, work with us etc do reach out to us uh, if you agree or disagree with our uh, analysis of the gate paper feel free to write to us uh, my email id is amit at cavindia.com i would be happy to hear from you good day and all the best